In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add textures to your images using Onwin Software's Perfect Photo Suite. I have my image opened up inside of Perfect Layers, so I'm going to show you two ways that you can do this. First inside of Perfect Layers, and then the second way inside of Perfect Effects. But before we use either of these methods, we first have to add our texture files into Onwin Software so we can access them from either of those modules. To do that, I'm going to go up to File, Manage Extras, now, because I'm adding textures, I'm going to go down to textures. I'm going to click on it. And if I were to actually click that arrow, you can see I've already added some of my texture files inside of on one software, but I want to make sure that textures is selected. And then I'm just going to click import. I've already navigated to my texture files ahead of time. So they popped up immediately. And for you, you just want to make sure that once you have this file open, locate the folder where you downloaded your texture files. And then you'll see them in a similar display like I have here. Then I'm going to just click and drag to highlight all of these texture files and then click open. Now I can choose the category where I want them to go. I'm just going to select add category and it automatically named it that folder name that I had uh, for all those textures. I'll click OK and then OK once again. And now it's just going to start importing these texture files. Now, depending on the amount of textures you have and the size of these textures, it may take a few minutes. All right, the import is complete. All of those texture files are now inside of Onwin software. So I'm just going to click close and then close once again. Now I'm ready to actually add these texture files to my image. I'll start by working on this image inside of perfect layers to add the texture file. I go over to extras, user extras, textures, and now you can see both of the categories that I had showing in that last dialog box that was opened up. So I can either use this little drop down here, or if I click on this icon to the right, it will show me them in a little bit larger scale. I'm just going to go ahead and click on one. I'll go ahead and use the JPEG version. I'm going to double click it. And it asks me if I want to edit this as a copy edit the original texture file or add it as a layer. And because I want to actually add this texture to this image, I'm going to add it as a layer. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now from here, it's just a matter of resizing the texture so that way it will actually fit over my image. I'm going to do a command or control minus to kind of zoom out a little bit. I'm going to select the transform tool. And then I'm just going to click that fill button on the right. And that filled the entire texture layer to my canvas size of my document. I'll go ahead and click apply. Now I'm going to use a blending mode to blend this in with my document. So I'm going to change it down to soft light. And immediately I have a nice texture effect applied to my image. I can enhance this even further by going to the masking brush. I'm going to move my opacity down a little bit and reduce that size. And I'm just going to slowly remove some of that texture effect over some of the building areas. And I could even preview that masking area by using one of these selections below. So from here, you would just continue to mask your image until you get a nice effect. But I'm going to delete this layer because next I'm going to show you how you can do this inside of perfect effects. I'll click this minus icon on the right to delete that layer. And then I'm going to click effects at the top of the screen. Perfect effects makes it really easy to add texture files to images. So I have it open here. I'm going to go down to the filter options on the right and I'm going to select texturizer. It automatically adds a texture to my image but I want to use one of my own. So over here on the right, I'm going to select the category and I'm going to go down to the user category. And I have uh, two different categories available. I'll go ahead and select the watercolor textures category. And then I select the actual texture I want to use. I just scroll down in this list. When I hover over them, I can actually see how they apply. So I'll go ahead and select Ivy. 
It also gives me some other options down here to work with. I can select normal for my mode, subtle, lighter, or darker. I like the default subtle, so I'll go ahead and keep that there. I can reduce the opacity. I can even change the hue of the textures. So you can really manipulate it in the options here. And then I can continue to go down and change the saturation, and even the brightness of it. I can even rotate it around to see if it works in a different direction or flip it vertically or horizontally. And then just like in Perfect Layers, I can use the masking tools. I could mask it just like I did in Perfect Layers, or I can use the gradient tool, which you can also use in Perfect Layers. I'm gonna go ahead and select a uh, vignette style and then just click right in the middle. And now you can see that it's only adding that texture around the outsides. And then I can play with the opacity as well. So that way I have a stronger effect on the outside and a little bit more subtle effect on the inside. And so that's how to add textures in OnOne software using perfect layers and perfect effects.